Man, we really need a show called Kickstand Judgment. Mm -hmm. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by the new HTC HD7, because you want a phone that takes entertainment to the next level. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile applications, reviews, and news. I'm Mauricio. And I'm Zach. And uh, today we're taking a look at the Windows Phone 7. We got a couple devices here. Uh, I literally just opened up the HD7. Um, you've actually been playing with the surround for a little bit more. Maybe you can tell us a little bit yeah, about it. Yeah, so we got, the, uh, we got the HTC surround here in the office a couple weeks ago. And um, it's part of, uh, part of a group of launch devices for mm -hmm. the new Windows Phone 7 operating system, which is kind of Microsoft's reboot and like yeah. next foray into Pretty major the, uh, reboot, actually. Yeah, totally. I mean, you know, there, before this, there was Windows Mobile 6.5, which yeah. was kind of clunky, and yeah. they kind of realized that this wasn't going to survive in a marketplace with Android and iOS. Right. So they just rebuilt it from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got a totally new interface. Yeah, although, if you're a Zune user, it's it's going to feel a little bit more familiar, right? It does. Yeah. So the uh, the UI is designed to look a lot like the Zune interface. If you've used, used a Zune device before. Before it has a bunch of tiles and, mm -hmm. and scrolling, and it looks really mm -hmm. pretty, and it's really distinctive. Like it doesn't look too much like you know an iPhone or an Android or a BlackBerry device. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty much a new look for a mobile operating system. The the basic kind of home screen is you have you have a set of tiles that are kind of your favorite apps. You know your email, your Twitter, your games, whatever, mm -hmm. your phone, SMS, and then you slide to the right, and it has a full list of you know everything that's installed on your phone as um. well as settings. So when you think about it, the principles are kind of the same as right. like a home screen and then a whole list of apps similar to Android. Mm -hmm. But it just it looks really different. Yeah. Uh, it looks really nice. It's really snappy, which um, I'm, I'm actually surprised because because the UI is so flashy. There's all these animations to go from screen to screen. It's still it's not sluggish at all. No. With well, solid phones, solid har hardware. Uh, oh, yeah. HTC, HTC devices. Um, you know this is. You can compare the uh, HD7 a lot to the um, the Evo, which we looked at mm -hmm. uh, a few months back. I think this surround's kind of its own beast. You, know? you think so? It, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like a partial slider. It has the uh, you know a, a speakerphone. Um, it's great for you know watching movies, listening right, right. to music. Kickstands. Kickstands both have kickstands, <laughs> which is the wave of the future. That's right. Um, if you try and buy a phone without a kickstand, like you're crazy. Yeah. Um, and so. Oh. It's raining in Paris, by the way. Yeah, it's good to know. <laughs> um, first, just real quick, some of the other built-in apps that you find that you know you can expect on any smartphone these days. Great browser. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost Internet like, Explorer. Internet Explorer, yeah. but it's like it's yeah. it's good Internet Explorer. Okay. It's not like Bing. on. <laughs> yeah, it does have Bing, of course. It's a Windows I, phone. I like Bing. Yeah, it is a Windows phone. Microsoft. But yeah. the browser, you know, it's it's pretty much up to par with the Safari or the Android browser. I would yeah. say yeah. it's it's pretty close. Yeah. Um, the on-screen keyboard's great. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, one of the best out there. It's yeah. certainly better than the stock Android keyboard. Um, the email is pretty good. Um, no threaded messages, unfortunately. Ooh. Yeah. They'll get there. They'll get there. Yeah. It's, it's version 1.0, again. Yeah. Maps looks great. And Xbox Live, which is a huge part of <laughs> Windows Phone 7. People were really excited about the Xbox Live integration. It's the very first thing I did. Of Literally, course, just, yeah. Just get your avatar. I got my there. avatar on there. OK, so we'll talk more about Xbox Live, and yep. we'll dive into uh, some of the games in a bit. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Uh, HTC HD7 yep. is actually the sponsor this week. Yeah, thanks, HTC. Uh, it's built on the Windows Phone 7. It's a simplified, more intuitive OS from Microsoft that brings to the surface the features you really need, so you do less digging your phone and more time being in the moment. Yeah, and this is really one of the hottest devices that can run Windows Phone 7 right mm -hmm. now. It's loaded with a 4.3 inch WVGA capacitive touchscreen with the kickstand, yep. as we both love. Uh, it's got Xbox Live and Zune integration. Got a lot of preload stuff on there. You've got EA Games, you've got Timo TV, you've got Netflix, Slacker, Telenap, Family Panorama, yeah. of course, all the marketplace apps. That's right. And uh, Snapdragon processor. Uh, we're used to saying that on a lot of um, uh, phones nowadays. It's optimized for hi-fi quality sound and surround sound effects with headphones. Five megapixel camera with autofocus and LED flash. Yep, it is one hot device. It I is think a, very cool. A lot of people are going to want this this yeah. holiday season. Okay, so getting back into the apps, talking about Xbox Live. Yep. Um, so as you probably know, um, with the Xbox Live app, you can sync everything that you have on your Xbox Live account. Right. So you have your full avatar with your little get up and mustache, mm -hmm. if you're like me. I don't have a mustache. Uh, no? Yeah. Well, you know. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> all, all your achievements, you can check all your, all your uh, recent cool. games, cool. see what your friends are up to. And of course, you can download games much like on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Right. One of the great things is that they all have demos just like on the Xbox yeah, yeah. Live Marketplace. And one of the games that we've spent some time with is uh, Max and the Magic Marker. Yeah. Which actually has appeared on the PC, Mac, and Wii before this, but was one of the launch titles. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a platformer. It's uh, $6.99 from the market. And it's the basic idea is that you're Max and you run around and you collect like various platformer type things. Um, and you have an ink pen that yeah. you can basically draw within Max's world. Create platforms. Exactly. Yeah. So or it's a platformer. Other types of objects. Yeah. yeah, where, I mean, you're basically like part of the creator in there. And mm -hmm. so, um, you know, you can like draw like little lines to try and get a ramp to get up to, you know, this high level, or you can um, put like a little raft at some point. Yeah, that Max yeah. Can that was pretty fun. Down. I just got to that level. That was yeah. Cool. And, and one of the cool things is that you can pause the game mm -hmm. and then draw within the world with, with everything else paused and yeah. then restart it. And um, you know the world will interact with whatever you've drawn. Yeah. So what, what do you think we get? Well, this is the first time I've, I've played it. Um, I haven't played the PC version or, or anything else. So, so controls were a little frustrating mm -hmm. for, for for a phone. But you know that's the case with with any uh, sort of touchscreen controls. As a platformer, it's 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 pretty solid actually. I, mm -hmm. I had fun with it. Uh, initially, I thought the six ninety nine price was was a little expensive. But if you think back at, at um, original iPhone app prices, it's pretty much on par. And so you're, you're probably gonna see these, these prices drop soon. But yeah. the game itself, I, I'd buy it. It's pretty awesome. I'd buy it too. Yeah. And as far as the price goes, it should be uh, noted that on the PC, it's actually $20. Ah, okay. So um, the $7 is a pretty good deal. I mean, it, it really is the full game. You yeah. know, it's pretty much whatever you would get on the PC. Right. Um, I think the ink uh, or the drawing works really well like, yeah. with your fingers as opposed to like mm -hmm. a, a mouse pointer. I, I would even say that the trial is good, but I, I was a lot more entertained with the full version. Yeah. Once I got to the second and third level, it was way more interesting than that first level. Yeah, because you see like more of the game me yeah. mechanics and yeah. stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, especially for a launch title, like really impressive. It's clear that Microsoft is putting uh, a lot of effort into their gaming initiative. Right. Um, clearly they recognize that. I mean, obviously gaming is like a huge part of being successful. It's huge, so they have to do it. Yeah. yeah. So um, they're definitely putting a lot of effort into that. And yeah. I can't wait to see what games come out in the future. It's going to be some good stuff. Yeah. Cool. All right, uh, if you want to email us with your thoughts, email us at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and at our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. All right, I'm Mauricio. And I'm Zach. We'll see you next time.